there was an Australian presence at Ordos, apart from the crew from in pit lane. Charlie Roe Charles is quite possibly Asia's best known Australian racing driver. Yet Charles, who was born in Australia, has never actually raced at home. And when the weekend started, Charlie had absolutely no idea that later that weekend, he'd be even racing in the R8 LMS Cup here in Ordos. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty last minute actually. Um, yesterday, um, one, of the, uh, one of the drivers in the Audi LMS Cup uh, hurt themselves. And um, so I did miss out on all the practices and I think uh, about half an hour before the qualifying session, someone up came up to me and said, uh, do you mind helping us out and uh, jumping in one of the cars? Of, of course, as a driver, uh, you're not going to say no to that. So I said, yep, no worries, and uh, jumped in and straight into qualifying, and it went really well. It's the famous theatrical dream that you almost pulled off, you know, the understudy waiting in the wings and the star breaks her ankle. Um, you've been in a situation now, you've jumped in the car, you've been racing in the uh, Lamborghini here this weekend in the Super Trofero series. How different are the two cars? Uh, they're, they're pretty different, really. Um, the, the, the Lamborghini's based closer to the road car. Um, obviously, it's got certain things done to it to to make it a race car, whereas the Audi is a ground-up GT3 race car. So the Audi just reacts and feels a lot more closer to what you would expect, whereas the Lamborghini's great fun to drive as well, but you must, uh, it's a different approach. But both cars are awesome, and uh, both cars are good fun to drive. Now, it has to be said, if we uh, contacted our media back at home and said, well, you know, an Australian's just come third in the race, Charlie Roe Charles is there, and they'd be saying, who? Tell us the Charlie Roe Charles story. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I guess I'm pretty much unknown back in Australia because I've, I'm, although I'm Australian, I was born there and grew up there. I was a little kid. Um, I never really lived there much after uh, after my first few years. I sort of grew up between uh, all over the place, really, from Brunei, Malaysia, and Middle East and Europe. So I've always living all over the place and uh, never had a chance to live there much. And uh, I've never even raced there actually. So, I mean, it's my home country. I'd love to get back there sometime and uh, and do some stuff there. But yeah, at the moment. Uh, I've so based out in Asia, so it's uh, working well over here, and hopefully we can push uh, push some the uh, some things over there and try and get back there at some stage and try build up the name back there as well. Well, of course, whether it's in a Lamborghini or an Audi, the uh, the, the big race is the Bathurst 12 Hour, which is coming up in February. Have you uh, any interest in racing there? Or are you open to offers? Yeah, of course, I'd love to race in that. It'd be an awesome uh, awesome event to get to. Um, yeah, for sure. But you know, so that's something I, I'd like to look at. Um, my biggest thing is I don't have any contacts in Australia, so, you know, don't... We can help you, mate. All right, great. All right, that'd be great. So uh, give us a call. Be good. <laughs> it was an impressive debut for Charles, who, despite having never sat in the car until qualifying, finished the weekend with two third places. But the weekend was dominated by Marchie Lee, who won both races. Motorsport in Asia is booming. There are new circuits, new series, lots of new opportunities. While Australian motorsport focuses almost exclusively on faraway Europe, this vibrant and well-resourced scene is happening right on our doorstep. And with the limited opportunities for talented young drivers here in Australia, perhaps it's worth looking at what's happening with our nearest neighbours first. We hope you've enjoyed this special edition of In Pit Lane in Inner Mongolia. Thanks to everybody who made this all possible. It was an experience that we will never, ever forget. Next week on the program, we're back in the studio with all the latest local, national and international motorsport, plus something a bit special as well. So I hope you'll join us then. But right now, from all of us here at In Pit Lane and RMI TV, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Camera shaking because I can't stop laughing.